and let me share the screen. <laughs> Hope you can see it. Yep. And the first point on the agenda are questions and issues open forum. Does anyone have anything? I guess we have only the usual suspects attending, so probably nobody has anything. Okay, then a uh, bunch of issues which seem to be opened uh, for some time and waiting for reviews or something. So I think this was one of them. Yeah, on this, uh, so it's my fault because I was busy. I had no time to review again this one. Uh, so yeah, the point is that I have to review again. Uh, I had some comments and uh, I see that Stanislav uh, answered them. Um, also, as you noticed, I had a kind of uh, related issue because the code in that part is changed by this PR from Stanislav. Um, it will be yeah great. Maybe Stanislav can check on his branch if uh, the issue that is raised here is fixed or not. Yeah, uh, I can check. And uh, otherwise, yeah, there is this other issue that is not related to what you're working on, but it's on the same part of the code, more or less. By the way, yeah, I will review uh, the, um, the PR as soon as possible. I know, sorry for that. Okay, then uh, next one is about the rebalance. And I guess that it's waiting for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I, will... I, I can review this as well to have two maintainers approving them. But to be honest, I don't understand the, the rebalance that much. So no, yeah, I might will be do. Best if you first review it. I, I will do. Not sure if it will be by the end of this week, but for sure at the beginning of the next one. Okay, thanks. Then the next one is this one about the support for ingress, uh, which I opened over the weekend. So. Uh, yeah, if someone can look at it and review it, it would be great as well. Uh, I don't think there are any specific experts, so yeah, whoever gets to that can review it. Then the next one was The CA through Paolo, I guess that's uh, yeah, also yeah. waiting for you. Yes. And then the last one was uh, the one from me, I guess. About the Kafka. Yeah, so I it's guess a... the question is whether we are making any progress with the tests and so on. So uh, unfortunately, I I'm not testing this. I remember that Tom was working with Lukash uh, to check why the tests are now fading when using uh, this new uh, 2.61 version in the downgrade process, in the downgrade tests. I don't know if there are any progresses. I will double check with Tom. Maybe Tom is not on the call, right? No. Yeah, and um, the other thing is that um, uh, I remember that uh, we mentioned that 262 is coming, right? Yeah. So I don't know if there this... was some discussion upstream about it. I'm not sure whether it will have any fixes to the broker. 
I know their motivation was uh, some fix for Kafka streams on Windows or something like that. So I don't know whether it will have just this fix which they think is critical or if they will have more things or what the plan is. Okay, no, just just to think that if uh, it, it, this PR will be not fixed by the time, I don't know if we, so we have to continue to work on this PR or we have to remove 2.5 and 2.5.1 and replacing with 2.6.1 and 2.6.2 instead of 2.6.0 and 2.6.1. Well, I, if 2.6.1 and 2.6.2 would be both out, I would use just the last one. But I wonder if we should then split the PR and separate it because then there's the other PR from you, which basically doesn't care about 2.61, but cares yeah. about the 2.5. 2.5. So yeah, yeah if, if we can split the Kafka PR and at least remove the 2.5 and 2.51, we would be able to merge this one and then deal with 2.6, whatever separately if needed. Sorry, what do you mean by splitting the PR? Um... To have kind of one PR with removing the 2.5 and one for adding the 2.6. Ah, okay. So if the, if the issue with the tests is only, with, only related to 2.6.1, then at least removing the 2.5 would allow us to merge the other PR you have there. Okay. And not have it hanging, hanging there, waiting for some conflicts to happen and so on, you know. So um, if we are going to have a PR removing 2.50 uh, and put 2.51, it means that uh, in the master, we will have support just for 2.7 for some time, right? No, 2.6 and 2.7. Oh, yeah, right. There is 2.6, zero. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I know I was the one who suggested to do 2.6.1 and remove the 2.5 in the same PR, but I guess if it unblocks the test, it might be. Yeah, might be I worth think that. Splitting it. Yeah, I think that that makes sense. Could even help for uh, yeah for testing why this two point six x is fading maybe. Okay, Plus, I will. I guess the tests anyway changed completely, mm -hmm. so it would be interesting to see if they are still failing. Okay, I, I I don't know if you gave it any try, Jakub, but I think your changes to the upgrade tests are merged now, or? Yes, but I don't. I think that issues which Paolo had are not affected because I mostly change only the streams the upgrade and downgrade and Kafka upgrade downgrade should be the same I think okay. or there yeah. should be just, just a little bit changes but it might help of course yeah that makes sense of course Okay, any other PRs we want to discuss? I guess not. Uh, then I didn't found any open proposals. So unless someone wants to discuss some proposal in uh, which he's preparing, uh, then I guess we can remove this. And then I added two more topics. So uh, yeah, I was wondering if someone can has something that can be used as streams data sheet, whatever that means, because I guess it means different thing for different people, but it might be useful for some kind of virtual conferences on the virtual booths and so on to present. So I was thinking about trying to put together something, but I wanted to check uh, if someone has something else or, or something we can start from. I have a feeling we had something a while ago, but I can't immediately remember what 
the, what it was. So I will have a look and see if I can find anything. Um, so I'll let you know, Jakob. Okay, thanks. And then uh, the last point I added is uh, we don't have to necessarily solve it today, but I guess we should think about what to do with the UI and admin API repositories, uh, whether we should keep them or whether we should archive them or uh, or something like that. So I, uh, yeah, I don't think we necessarily need to decide it right now but it might be something to think about for the next meetings, I guess. Sorry, Jakub, what is the reason of archiving this uh, repositories? Well, if we don't really continue in the development uh, there, then uh, yeah, they would be just confusing, confusing the users, right? Since the UI development now basically stopped and so on. Yeah, what I see, you are right, then on the UI, there is no development. Uh, I see there is a PR opened by Stanislav on the admin API, but uh, yeah, on the other side, how much makes sense to have this admin API when there is no UI on the other side? Yeah, I guess if we see value in the admin API without the UI, then we can of course keep that and archive or whatever just the ui right yeah There's also the question that kind of without a UI component, does it make more sense to put the admin API bits into the bridge or keep them as their own separate repository? Yeah. Yeah, and on the other side, we could discuss about improving the bridge from some bits that are missing, like TLS, uh, authentication, authorization, things like that. So do we want to think about it for next time? Or do we want to discuss some specific decisions? Well, to be honest, what is kind of clear and out, at least for me, is that the development on UI is stuck. So maybe, I don't know, the UI repo could be already archived. And I'd like to think more about the admin API. Yeah, makes sense to me as well. So do we want to maybe take it as a proposal for next time? Yeah, I think that Tom 
maybe want to say something about it as well. So like this. What use do we think the admin API has without, sorry, the, yeah, the admin API has without the UI as it's, because that was always envisaged that they sort of went hand in hand. Or at least that was how I pictured it. Or put another way, do we have any actual concrete use cases for the admin API? Yeah, I guess not without the UI. For this reason, we can think about merging the stuff for the admin API into the bridge. So yeah, what you're saying is that uh, if we are going to archive the UI, the kind of right choice is to archive the admin API as well. This is what you are saying, right? I'm not quite saying that. I'm just asking the question, what use do we have? And if we don't have a use for it, then why why not archive it? It's more a train of thought than a, an actual assertion. I think in yeah. the past, one of the use cases we thought about for the admin API was using it for some form of CLI. That's it. Yeah, if you don't have the resources to work on the UI, I'm not sure we have the resources to work on some CLI based on the admin API. So mm -hmm. I'm a bit skeptical about that, but that um, was something we discussed in the past. There's no reason why archiving has to be a one-way street. When, you know, if in future we have the resources to work on UI or CLI, we can always unearth yeah. the admin API at that point without you know, sort of pretending, and pretending is not quite the right word, but without sort of the, giving the impression that there is this admin API that is like a a thing that definitely has a future within Strimzy. Yeah. There is one thing, uh, like, uh, if we are, like, short on resources, like, uh, if we are saying that we need someone to work on the UI part, so uh, just, uh, I was just thinking about that, why can't we just, uh, like, uh, use it as a proposal for the outreach thing? Maybe from there we can get some uh, student, like the interns, or we can say the outreach interns who can work on the on this part, if we have a near future uh, use case for this thing. So in that way we can like that is an interesting idea um because that way uh we don't have to archive it and uh, we will yeah. uh, like get the work done, done in this and maybe we have a future use case for both of them so yeah let's so let's stick with what jacob's written there and decide for sure next time and in the meantime figure out whether we whether there's something that could usefully be done um, in that context okay sounds like a plan Anyone has anything else for this topic? Okay, then, uh, yeah, let's get back to this next time.
Uh, anyone has any other topics to discuss? No. Yeah, there is one thing. Uh, okay, you can go on. <laughs> Sorry. No, go on. Oh, okay. actually, I was uh, saying that there are certain uh, issues which are uh, solved in the GitHub repo for streams and. Uh, Sometimes uh, I think that maybe this issue is not uh, uh, like completed yet, and then I open it, there is a PR merge. So maybe we could just go through those issues and just close them, maybe. Like that would be good, I guess, so that we don't get confused, like whether this issue has been solved or not. Because, like, there is one issue regarding course configuration for cruise control but yeah it was uh, already solved and the pr was already merged regarding it and the issue is still open so that's i was thinking that maybe we should close these issues yeah we should but it's quite time consuming to go through all the issues just because of that Yeah, it's not. If we've got seven people on the call, then it's probably not a best use of seven people's time to to do that. Yeah, exactly. Right here and now, but um, we should try and uh, obviously keep issues uh, up to date. Yes. Paolo, you had something else as well? Uh, yeah, I, I was going to ask to Tom because you uh, joined later, I guess, Tom. Um, we were discussing about the issue on the uh, related to the PR of uh, removing 2.5 and adding Kafka 2.61. Uh, um, I remember that you were working uh, with Lukas on, uh, on checking what was the problem? The downgrade tests were failing. I don't know if you have any news. Um, if that ball was in my court, then I've completely missed it. Um, I think I was waiting to hear back from Lukash, but oh, I'm not okay. completely sure that that's the case. I might have forgotten. OK, so I will double check with Lukash uh, if he has some news on this. Yep. OK, thank you. Thanks, Paolo. Okay, anyone, anything else? Then I guess maybe we are finished. Okay, thanks folks. Sorry I was late.